Pally, I'm Maddie Drucker. Today is Wednesday, September 20th, which is also the first day of Rosh Hashanah. For those celebrating, Shana Tova. Today we have an interview with YAF, sports, and an end info on, Lata on Latino Unidos Raza Day coming up on today's episode. But first, today's daily pick was sent in by Andy Tetzla. The photo is of a group of freshman girls posing by the Pally Pool in what appears to be a saved Snapchat. She captioned the photo, here's a pic of us eating some post-game burritos. Thanks for that, Andy. If you want your pick featured on the air, be sure to tweet it to us at Pally in Focus. Here's today's campus bulletin. First off, on Friday, September 22nd, Latinos Unidas will be hosting its first ever Raza Day on the Quad at lunch. Students can come to the Quad to learn about various Latin American countries and get prizes. This Thursday at lunch, the YCS Interact Club has their first meeting in room 215. In addition to their first meeting, FLC registration is out. Students can get seven community service hours for attending, and YCS Interact has all the costs covered. FLC will take place October 8th from 8.15 to 3 at Independence High School. The deadline to register is September 24th and the link to sign up is on your screen. Questions can be emailed to pallyycsinteract at gmail.com. Senior Sarah Shader has a personal experience with a family member with cystic fibrosis. Her cousin started a campaign, Lunges for Lungs, with the goal of raising money for organ rejection research, a critical issue that threatens all CF patients after transplant. It's a little like the Ice Bucket Challenge, where participants do a certain number of lunges and pledge to donate to the campaign. All donations go to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. The organization has raised almost $60,000 out of their $65,000 goal. To participate, visit lungesforlungs.passioncff.org. Last but not least, today is KPOY's first live show. Make sure to stop by their table in front of the Mac at lunch today to hear some tunes and pick up some swag. Now let's dive into sports with Finn, who has some scores from water polo, water polo plus more. Finn? Thanks, Maddie. Dive into sports indeed. Yesterday, boys varsity water polo took to the pool versus Harker with Pally winning by a score of 8-5. to five. Will Parmenter led the team scoring three of those eight goals. 8-5 to five to seemed to be the score of the day as the girls' JV water polo team bested Saratoga yesterday, also with a score of 8-5 to five, after coming back from an early 3-0 to zero deficit at the beginning of the first quarter. Girls varsity water polo played against Saratoga and won by 10 points with a score of 14 to 4. Apparently, the team didn't get the memo about winning by a score of 8 to 5. As the weather gets colder and fall turns to winter, winter sports are beginning to get ready for their upcoming seasons. Students who are interested in playing winter sports, such as basketball, soccer, and wrestling, can start registering. Visit pallyathletics.com for more information. Finn, with all the water polo teams winning, it doesn't seem like they procrastinated at scoring those goals. However, procrastination can get, can get the best of anyone. Putting things off is an easy way to, to not have to deal with things or to avoid tedious tasks. But we all know that procrastination can really cause more work in the long run. This week on Pally Tips, Noor offers some ideas on how to deal with the looming threat of procrastination. Hey Vikes, Noor here from In Focus. So we're about a month into the school year. I know it's kind of scary. And for some of us, school hit us like a rock and we're still trying to get back into the grind and adjust to school. For some of us, procrastination is starting to creep up and it's becoming a real issue even this earlier in the year. So I'm gonna teach you some tips and hacks for overcoming procrastination. So the first tip is to schedule your things out. Um, a lot of your teachers recommend that you bring a um, binder reminder like you did in middle school and just like jot down whatever you have to do, um, do later on for like homework and any reminders that you have coming up. It's really helpful to have it down on paper. Um, additionally, you should create deadlines for yourself or have parents or teachers or even friends create them because that way you have to follow through with it and you can't just like adjust because you created your own deadlines. This way you're using your procrastination abilities to your advantage and doing work last minute, but it's not really last minute because you've scheduled ahead of time. The second tip is finding a place where you feel efficient and you can get work done really well. So maybe that could be a desk at home or the public library or even the Mac. Pretty awesome places. For me personally, I like to work with friends on a nice spacious table uh, who I know will help me stay productive. This is really helpful because 
if I'm studying and maybe say I'm just like looking up and I'm really out of it, I can just look at my friends who are really productive and getting stuff done and I feel motivated to keep on working. Um, but at the same time, definitely make space for breaks. You should actually schedule a time for yourself to take a break because studying so much can get overwhelming and it can lead to procrastination. The third tip is to manage your work efficiently. So you've scheduled your stuff out, you've found a good space for yourself. Now you need to find out how to actually start your work and time it out so that you can actually get it done. So a method that I find to be really helpful is the Pomodoro method. So the first step is to decide on the task that has to be done. And the second one is to set a Pomodoro timer, which is traditionally 25 minutes and then you work on that task until the timer rings. After that, you take a five minute break, just do anything to get your mind off of whatever work you're doing, and then you go back and you start another 25 minute cycle. And this way you're you know, taking breaks in between and you're getting a lot of work done and you are really focused in that 25 minutes that you're working. After four cycles of working and taking five minute breaks, you're gonna take a 15 or 20 minute break and just relax or maybe you're done so that's good too well those are all my tips if you guys have any tips or life hacks that you'd like to share give us an email at bulletin at infocus.tv titled pally life hacks and i'd be happy to see what else i can share with you guys good luck with overcoming procrastination it is something that affects so many students and being able to get over it is the greatest feeling a lot of Pali students are involved in politics, whether it's Model UN or just staying up to date on political news, political journalism, or being members of political clubs, it's no question that students on campus are pretty active politically. Noor Naved sits down with Yas Yasmin Gavande, who is a representative from one of those clubs. Thanks, Maddie. YAF, or Young American for Freedom is a national organization that has a branch here at Pali with more than 50 members. I'm joined here by the founder and president of the club, Yasmin. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so what uh, is your club and what do you guys discuss in the club? Um, so basically, Young Americas for Freedom is a project of the Young Americas Foundation. So this organization was started in 1960 and actually two years later, President Reagan, when he switched parties um, to being a Republican, he actually joined their board as a um, the advisory board. So um, Reagan worked very closely um, for the rest of his life really um, with Young America's Foundation and their um, goal really is to promote conservatism. So one of the problems we're facing today is not a lot of people know actually what conservatism is. So there's really four main tenets of conservatism. So they're individual freedom slash limited government, um, a free market system, and also uh, sticking to our founding values, our mm -hmm. traditional values, if you will. Values like personal responsibility, integrity, morality, humility, um, and then a strong national defense to protect these freedoms um, from those who want to take them away. So well, that's, that's um, what conservatism is, is. Is there any you know, specific um, type of students who you would recommend sign up? Yeah, so I mean, if you agreed with um, the list I said, I would definitely recommend being a member. Um, if you um, just are in general interested in politics or want to see what our club is about, we do have a public meeting this uh, Friday in room 854 at lunch. So mm -hmm. I recommend um, be there um, and just see what we're all about. Yeah, that sounds really interesting. So thank you so much for joining us, Yasmin. Back to you, Maddie. Thanks, Noor and Yasmin. That does it for us today. Remember, you can get the latest news from InFocus anytime, anywhere by checking us out at www.infocusnews.tv or find us at InFocus News on Instagram and Facebook, and follow us at Pally InFocus on Twitter and Snapchat. Until next time, have a great day, Pally.